Generic greetings and welcome to World Domination Plus Evil Genius episode 20. Let's go to Lord Game and Devious Plan. Uh, what will it be? KK? Yeah, KK. I don't know why it's in. I don't know why it's not in order. Anyway, in the previous episode, we did some construction in the base. We uh, finished off our training room as well as a power plant and a. Uh, did it look did we do the laboratory? No, the, um, the the pharmacy, the medical facility. Uh, we also stole the Codex Knowledge and recruited a... <laughs> I use the term recruited very, very loosely. Uh, a mercenary scientist to decipher the Codex Knowledge, which is what we will be using to actually start to build our... Uh, our basically our our super weapon, our world dominating device, which we'll have three choices, and we will probably get to that shortly. Uh, but anyway, as you can see, things are nice and healthy. I've I've skipped ahead just a little bit again, just to train up some minions and get some money. Ooh, task complete. Let's have a quick look then. So, road to doomsday. We have completed these two, which is steal the codex knowledge and get someone to actually decipher it. The mercenary scientist has had has a change of heart and is trying to escape the island to defect back to the forces of justice. Kill him. Okay, so we have to kill the uh, this mercenary scientist, which I believe is him there. Uh, it is the mercenary scientist, kill tag, and Slicer. He is gone. So that was a quick objective. Let me do a bit of research here. We've got a lot to do. Oh my good grief, I'll close that for now. <laughs> I don't really want to re start reading all that. Right. Task complete. We've got a new objective. Let's have a look. So, research the Codex of Knowledge with one of the top tier items of laboratory apparatus to choose the Doomsday device payload that will be used to bring the world to its knees. We have A, Codex plus Greenhouse equals an ID Eliminator. B, which is Codex plus Environmental Chamber, which is the Earthquake Beam. And C, is a Codex plus AI Supercomputer, which gives us the Gravity Disruptor. The Gravity Disruptor will obviously Obviously, make loads of earthquakes. No, no, sorry. No, the gravity disruptor will reverse gravity, I'm guessing, or do something with it to pull people all over the place. That's a bit crazy. The earthquake beam is sort of self explanatory. It will, I am guessing, make earthquakes? I don't think it's too much of a leap to assume that the Earthquake Beam is going to cause earthquakes. The ID Eliminator, however, sounds a bit more interesting. ID Eliminator, is that like a mind control device? I think that's the most cliche, isn't it? Earthquake Beam is is sort of cliche, but the thing is, Earthquake Beam is sort of done to death in a lot of sense. Um, you know, it's it, 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 is, it is very cliche, the Earthquake Beam. Gravity Disruptor is, again, similar sort of thing to the Earthquake Beam, but the ID Eliminator, ID Eliminator aka Mind Control Device, Sounds just that's the most evil you can imagine. I think I'm sh I, I think so. Um, what's actually you know what's the most what's the most Maximilian type device? Because he's like I don't know I don't know. I'm gonna think about that for a little while while we do a couple of other things around the base. Um, let me do a bit of research here. So I'm just going to pay all of the research off because I've got enough money. There we go. Might as well pay most of this off. Uh, oh, we can't pay any more. We've got two more to go on here, one, so I'm going to fling on that one and that one. Uh, and the codex, we'll pay this off to get... Uh, we'll put it in the... Oh, <laughs> this is the research that we have to do. I don't know why I even attempted to pay this off. So it's either AI supercomputer, the greenhouse, or the like research machine, I believe it's called. Uh, yes, I want to uh, quit. Yes. I want to quit that anyway. Um, is that someone trying to come in my base? It really is someone trying to come in my base. It's a smash soldier. Uh, what? How good are they? A good smash soldier, and it's it's quite it's quite rainy outside. It really is quite rainy outside. Um, what do we want to do? What do we want to do? What do we want to do? Um, obviously we've got earthquake beam, gravity disruptor, or the ID eliminator. The problem is, what doesn't matter what I choose. I don't know what your preferences are, and I can guarantee you whatever your preferences are, someone will disagree with either of us. So if I pick number one, or if I pick A, you might want B, and everybody else might want C. I just don't know. So I think what's the best, what's the most Maximilian type thing? He doesn't seem to be the mind control type because he's like a big industrial capitalist guy. Um, I think the gravity disruptor or earthquake machine is probably going to be it. Um, maybe the gravity disruptor because that seems just, that just sounds crazy. Um, 
gravity disruptor or ID eliminator? I'm going to go with the gravity disruptor. And I'll tell you why. The reason why, it sounds the most Maximilian, because I don't think he'd want to cause earthquakes, because if he has, well, I'm guessing he has a lot of, um... Oh, you know what? No. You know, sack it. Sack it. I've changed my mind. I'm going to go with... I can't decide. This is terrible. I can't decide. I'm not. I'm going to go with the ID Eliminator. Codex plus Greenhouse. Okay, so we'll open the research. Codex plus the Greenhouse. Go. That's what we're going to do. The reason is... That's, is that the Greenhouse? That is the Greenhouse. Yes, it is. The reason for that is because in my... What the hell? They're trying to... They're flying away. Look at this. Look at this. Did you see that there? It flew off. Uh, he's going to pull out that thing. And fly away. Excellent. They didn't even assault the base. Fantastic. Uh, yes, the um, the reason for that is because when I have completed this before, I have already used the earthquake machine, and I've already seen what the other one does. The um, I've used the earth. I've done the earthquake machine myself, and I've already seen what the uh, the gravity disruptor thing does. I believe so. I'm going to go with the mind control one, uh, the ID eliminator. And also, if that, it is sort of maximilian -y because he is uh, a, megaloma uh, a megalomaniac criminal mastermind. Basically, when you read the flavor text, he is a big, you know, industrialist. He likes to make lots of, basically, lots of cash and stuff, and do all the evil things with that, like that. Um, that this of the mind control, he can just convert, come make everybody work for him. Mm, that's what I, that's what I'm going for. That's the loose. That's the loose excuse I'm going to use. Uh, and we're going to. Oh my good grief! Let me set kill tags on these people because it's annoying me. There we go. Right. Uh, we should also start really putting traps in here. <laughs> I know it's probably a bit late, but we should start doing it at some point. So let's go. So let's have this electroshock cannon trap thing. I think we'll have a giant. Uh, do we have a Satan's chimney? Um, I think I want probably a nerve gas trap. Um, I don't know. I like the idea of the electroshock, both electroshocks <laughs> just in here. Both electroshocks in there. And then we're going to have, um, probably, uh, we'll have magnets in here. Then we'll have wind machines in here. And then we'll have Satan's chimneys. If they ever get here, in fact, no, that's no, we won't be able to have certain chimneys because they're um, that you have to stand on them, and it's not really good for this type of one. Um, I think we'll have is nerve gas. I think nerve gas. Uh, let's have a quick look. Red is poison. Nerve gas is drain smarts. They do different. They do different drains. They do different drains. So what I'll use is probably. Um, Probably, I think we'll have one poison and one nerve. There we go. And once they're placed, then I'll actually um, worry about actually connecting them up. I might, however, change my mind and just do this. Just use these, these electroshock ones. But to be fair, nobody really gets in the base because, as you've seen, I tend to just um, have people guarding it. So, you know, that's that's pretty much what I do anyway. Uh, right, so we've got 233,872 generic credits. Training for minions, as you can see, is nice and, well, it's nice and healthy. Uh, I'm going to maximize this to, well, I think I'll put it up to uh, a minion every 10 seconds, just to fill the workers up, because we're a bit short on them, as you can see. Um, I'm going to increase that a little bit. We'll only have 20 of them, I think. Uh, and we'll have 25 mercenaries, and we'll save the other spaces for the diplomat, which I should get, and also the uh, sniper. So let's have a quick look. Um, we got a couple of things to do here. We also need to get one of these henchmen, which I did ask, what do you want? And most people said the butcher, because he's called the butcher. <laughs> um, and I, I can't actually really disagree although the mesmerino was a very hot second and one person did point out that he's called the great mesmerino what we can do is we can use him to turn around the super agents which is a bit it's actually very smart that because if we do that, it, we might not have as many problems with the super agents. So that's what I'm going to do. We also need to steal the, the crown jewels here, uh, which we haven't had. Uh, we've been sort of staving off for a while. So we need six spin doctors. So um, we'll send six over there. 
There we go. And we also need six mercenaries, which I have uh, quite a lot of, so I'm going to send ten. Um, we also need to... Um, we need to get... What's that? That's a jetpack flight test. Ooh, I think we'll mess about with that in a moment. These are all the stuff that we haven't done. This is weird, because we haven't really done any acts of infamy, proper acts of infamy, for quite a while. Um, right, so let me just... Oh, let me hide him, because uh, you can see Jet Chan's on my case. We need to get... Uh, that's a marksman, so we need eight guards. We've got two. Let me get uh, one from there. Send him over. And then one, two, three, four, five... And that'll, that'll be it, and we'll send two more, and that should do us, and we'll put them on hiding, because I don't want them to be, don't want them to be taken. Actually, we have two over there as well, but that'll do us for now. Right, back to the base, and we've probably got it all shot up and died. Uh, no, no, we're not, we haven't. Excellent. Right, I think then, in here, I don't know whether to use, what sort of traps, how do I want to activate this? Because there's several different ways of activating You can use laser or motion. Um, motion, when it, when they enter a specific area, um... That might probably be best, although laser trap is when they go across. I'm thinking laser trap, because then they definitely have to be inside for these ones. Um, laser trap, like, um, like so, I think. Yeah, I think that'll do us, and then we'll connect that up to there. So when they go across that laser, I'll activate that. And we'll do it on both sides, obviously. Uh, let's have a quick look. Laser. And there. There we go. And then we will connect them two up. Uh, the problem is that people generally go inside, so hopefully they won't trip it. In these ones, I'll probably put pressure pads, because uh, they're the easiest one. This is a bit annoying, because um, these ones here, you have to actually stand on. Uh, if you put them back here, it'll make it go down. So I might change my mind about these ones. I might change my mind about these traps, I don't know. But I'm placing them for now, just because I can research them. As you can see, there was a technician there working on it, so that's what I'll do. Uh, we've still got loads more to do, oh my good grief. Uh, let me pair some of these off and start doing some more research here. Um, let's have a quick look. I might as well just pair them all off, because it's just cheaper that way. And there we go. I say cheaper, it's not cheaper, it's, it's just quicker. Um... 32,000, yeah, we'll pay it off, we'll just go for the lot, and I'm running out, I'm running short now, probably fling them to at it, go, and then this one, finally, uh, there we go, so, a lot of research done there, I've spent a lot of money on it, but you know, it's probably, it might be worth it, ooh, there's an agent, not an agent, just someone, she's not going to last long, yeah, she didn't last long at all, <laughs> didn't last long at all, right, people are still on the way, as you can see, I need to get them here, then we can uh, steal people that we want. Uh, so we're going to get Mesmerino, we're going to, uh, yeah, basically we're going to get Mesmerino, we're going to get the other ones, uh, and finally, once the, hopefully this research will be done shortly for uh, our doomsday device and we can get on that. But uh, we are a bit short on the old cash now because of all the stupid research that I've done. Um, <laughs> to be fair, we'll put them on steel. Oh, they're already on stealing. And um, we need to send a couple more here, actually. So I'm going to send... Uh, do we have enough workers? Yeah, I'm going to send five workers there and... Probably two mercenaries. Yeah, why not? Why not? Send them about, get some more money. More money is always good. Um, I also have uh, a couple of other things as well. I have a secondary objective. I've got optional. You can see I've got a careful, care, careful observation of uh, Marina Mamba has revealed our, how much she relies on her good looks. Basically, I strapped into her infirmary chair and we can minister some treatment. Problem is, I don't have an infirmary chair! Because there's, you know, another sort of hole in the game that um, I just don't have one. I'm guessing I have to research it, but... Because I didn't place certain things at specific points of the game, I might not have researched that specific that, that thing that I actually want. So it's um, not ideal. <laughs> but you know, that's that's just the game, I guess. Um, who are these? These small people? Yeah, these poor saber agents. Nothing to worry about. Um, I thought the stock market thing was working. At least by the look of it, it looks like it's working. Maximilian sitting around, like standing around there with a the sidekick. I could come up there. The. Uh, Representation of Warrior Spirit. Yeah, we've got a lot of the stuff that we've stolen. Eiffel Tower. What's that? Space suit. Yeah. A lot of research getting done as well. I mean, we do have a lot of research minions. If we look, we've got 15 technicians, 10 scientists, and then 8 of the other two. So quantum physicists and biochemists. So we've got a lot there. This is fairly... Uh Fairly well implemented. Oh, good grief. Some people have been dying again. Hide, 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 hide. Looks like people are around, so we're just going to keep hiding everywhere. Hide absolutely everywhere because they've just turned up in force. 
and they am probably going to get killed. The problem is, there we go, they've disappeared now. Right, let's do these. Why can't I do that? Don't say someone's died that I need over here. Oh! They killed one of my... Ooh. They killed one of the people that I need. One of them. That boils my piss. Ah, oh, right, we'll have to send another one over there. Another spin doctor. Speaking of spin doctors, how many do we have? Um, so we'll have to put them all on hiding now. Great. Spin doctors. We've only got ten. Let me hire... We'll go up to, we'll go up to thirteen because I'm... S they seem to be using a lot. In fact, we'll reduce one of them. We'll reduce our guards a little bit. There we go. What the hell is that? A Venus man trap. The Venus Mantrap is a genetically modified version of its smaller fly-catching brother. Anyone passing too close to the Venus Mantrap risks being enveloped by its gripping mon partially digested. What the hell? There's Venus Mantraps? Oh, that is awesome! So can I place them around the base? I'm guessing not. We've also got a, a, a monkey in a box trap, which, um... If the forces of justice... Um, oh, that's, I thought it was going to show me a, 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 a monkey in a box trap. There's also a misdirection trap. I think the Venus Man Trap's the best one. That's awesome. That's awesome. We're going to put them... Uh, where's the entrance there? So put it like like that. We'll have one of them just to try it out. We have to, don't we? Uh, oh, I think these are coming in. Let's hopefully they'll go in and get electrocuted. Let's see what happens. Uh, might, you know, I might even just take this opportunity to open the door. But that's 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 on one. Shouldn't be on... Shouldn't it be on two? It should be on two. All the doors should be on two, right? So only... Why is it on one? Why are all the doors on number one? They should be on two. So they can... <laughs> that is just weird. All the doors should be on two. And now I can't even get there. That Spin that round. Spin it round. That door. It should be on two because only our minions and henchmen can use this door. All the doors should be on that by default. Yeah, for some reason these ones. I must have changed them at some point. Um, yeah, there we go. They're all sorted now. <laughs> I want them to actually hack, be you know, have to hack in and stuff to get it. Did they just come here and wander off? That really did. So it means they're probably going to, they've probably caused some heat. Or the basically, I'll get some heat when we go back. Rocket silo foundations. Oh. <laughs> okay. So, build the rocket cavern in preparation for the doomsday device construction. <laughs> awesome. We can build inside here. Rock at this. Rocket silo foundations. We'll start building it. There it is, look. All the way across this bit that we haven't been able to build on for all this time. It's codex destroyed because obviously we have now used it up, basically. They're going to build this. They're going to come and plant some bombs. And get all this sorted. That's awesome. Now you have a quick look. People are still trying to fly on there. Now, I don't want to. I don't want to look too much on that. I want to keep looking at this because I want to see all. I want to see this get completed. Um, although I don't know whether they're going to. I don't think they're going to blow it up. Are they going to blow it up like normal? I think they are. Is that the, is the man trap there yet? Yes, he's going to put it in fire a box, which is weird. Should plant it and should grow. Although that would take ages, wouldn't it? So a bit pointless, really. Um, I'm guessing that they're going to run and get blasting charges like they normally do. There's the Venus man trap. There it is. <laughs> Hopefully that person will be eaten by it. Uh, looks like we've got some people coming in as well. Hopefully they'll go in these doors and get electrocuted. Is this going to happen? Is that going to happen? No, they're just going to walk straight past. So I think I'll just kill kill tag them. It's just easier. I also need to get uh, Blackheart, wherever he is. I think he's around here somewhere. Um, you know what, I'll just tab between them. There he is over there. We'll get him to place. Unleash! Some of them out there. Some man traps. We've got Venus man trap and normal man traps. But all of these, all of these here. The reason I haven't, I've had a bit of a problem building around, is because all of these bits are entrances uh, to this sort of centre bit, which is um, a bit annoying because you can't really build uh, a fairly, you know, you can't really build a a big base. Or you, the base that you build is all over the place. What's that there? I think that's the thing that I need. I think that is the thing that I need. I think he's carrying it, and it's all in that box. But yes, I th this uh, you can't really build the base like size you want because all of this is sort of restricted the centre bit. You have to build around and around here. I mean, you've got all this to be fair. I I've never once felt that I've run out of room, but it's just I, I like to place things in a particular order. I like to place things. There he goes. I think that's him there with that. 
There we go. I think he's going to run up. Money Madness traps? One of them. Um, it's a trap. Sh <laughs> it's a sham ATM stuffed with counterfeit money. When, <laughs> when an agent triggers the trap, the ATM spits out wads of fake cash, which Gullible Agent believes to be real. They will fill their pockets to the filth. <laughs> Um, right. So basically, the <laughs> if they use them, they get loads of fake money. Good grief. There's so much stuff in this game that I've never seen before. Because if you don't research, if you if you do only do certain research or you don't get certain research, then you just won't see it. Here we go. Wow. That is awesome. Look at that. Oh, that's awesome. That's our objective. Good grief. Global chaos. So, the master plan is building up ahead of steam now. Before the rocket can be constructed, a supply of specialist resources is, will be needed. It will also be needed, uh, necessary to install op operatives into positions of power in all of the territories so that we can monitor the activities. Building the rocket's superstructure takes uh, a variety of different resources, from rocket fuel to titanium. These resources are rare and valuable and only available from a number of facilities dotted around the globe. Our agents in the field will have located a number of locations where we can obtain these valuable resources. We must hijack them until we have the necessary components to build each section up. Uh, of the rocket superstructure. Each section requires five crates. Your forces will siphon these resources from each facility as long as they are able to in the message bar inform you when you have just enough resources to allow you to build a new section of the rocket. Be advised the force of justice won't, won't take kindly to you pillaging such valuable resources. Therefore, your forces both on the island and out in the wider world should be put on full alert. An anvil diplomat is taking an ill-advised holiday to the island. Subject him to an interrogation then replace him with one of our own. Fantastic. Look at that, and then all the scientists are coming down here. Oh, that looks excellent, doesn't it? That's where the rocket will be, and this is all the, this building is assembly planned. What we need to do now is use hangar, and what I'm going to do is basically build a hangar. Oh, look at that. Cancel that. Cancel that. I didn't know you could build a hangar right over the top. Oh, can you? Can you do that? Look at that. I did that. Build all the way around here. <laughs> No, that's a bit too big. I'm going to build a hangar bit that goes all the way around so we can walk between the different stations. Uh, that's pretty good. We'll close that. I've also got a new objective. Um, what's this? A foolish Serbian diplomat has arrived on the island. Ideal opportunity to interrogate them and then you in secrets reveal and place them with our own mall. So basically we've got a Serbia diplomat and an Anvil diplomat. Um, I think they should have chose a different island. Just, you know, FYI. Right. You know what? I think we're going to have to call it there. Next episode, we will start construction on this. If we look on the main minimap here, oh, good grief. Uh, we've got that guy to steal, Mesmerino. We'll nick him. We'll start getting all of these resources that we need. Like that one there, for example. There you go. Titanium. And we now we've got all different cage traps and such because of the research. Fantastic. So, like I say, next episode, we'll start research on this. We'll join all up with some of these gantries, nick a couple of things, and start building our awesome super weapon. Thank you very much for watching. Take care, and generic partings.